Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. Okay, so in the last episode we uh, built our new elaborate passenger rail line that runs the kind of western edge of the map, if this is the western edge of the map, I'll assume it is. We've added some new electric trains to run this route and we quickly need to fill in our local passenger distribution. So I've done New Milton, uh, let's quickly pop in the rest. I'm going to stick with the trams for now because I think they are pretty efficient. Uh, this one I might just do a smaller station so it fits. Yeah, something like that looks pretty good. Uh, give me a, a depot. I'll just do it over here. I like uh, giving, leaving it a little bit of room. Okay, so actually before I upgrade things, let's quickly put in the stations. So I think something over here would be good. I think that reaching, yeah, that's actually reaching. So that something over there would be good. Uh, maybe something in the middle up here. Maybe something on the edge over here. And then all the way back somewhere over there. And then maybe just before we reach something over there. It might not be amazingly spaced but it's pretty good. So let me upgrade to electrics. Uh, I think that needs to be upgraded. Is that an electric? Yeah it is. So we'll do that. We'll upgrade this one and that one around here, through there, up there. We're gonna run straight through here. Until we get these uh, local passenger distributions up and running I doubt we're going to see a lot of profit out of this rail line. So we need to get this done ASAP. Oh, I think they're already kind of stuck in. Oh, I might have built that. Uh, okay, so that's it there. So let's uh, add the lines. So one, two new lines. Okay, oops. Let's uh, start by actually doing the line. Around here, around there, like so, like so, like so, and like so. And this is... <coughs> This is called Local Passenger Distribution South Kirkby 1. Is it South Kirkby? Yeah. And now let's do the other one. This direction. Around there, up here, over there, and like so. And this will be Local Passenger Distribution South Kirkby 2. Perfect. Let's uh, grab some T1s. One, two, three, four, five. I think should be fine for this. South Kirk B one. One, two, three, four, five. South Kirk B two. And there we go. That should be sufficient for now. That. Now Radstock. I'm hoping Radstock will quickly, quickly want much, much more construction materials due to some uh, passenger transport. So let's see how we're going to be running in this way. I'm going to have a station over here, like so, then maybe a station over here, ooh, and I don't think we should share that to be honest, so maybe then I'll do a tram station over here, this is a, getting to be a pretty big town. Um, okay, so let's uh, pop in the station over here. Then let's pop in maybe just on the other side. Yeah, I think that's okay. So light over there, we'll pop in a station that side. We will then do something over here. And maybe we'll pop in one more over there in the sticks to see how that works and that should be fine so let's pop in the two oh, actually let's upgrade the roads to include the electrification first <coughs> uh, yeah upgrade tool please like that like that this way that way around here did I put stations there and there wow that's ooh the Lockhead super constellation I don't know planes at all so I'm not going to get too excited about that. Uh, there we go, there we go. We probably will do a bit of an airport at some point, actually. We might link these two lines together with something like an airport type of situation. 
there we go so that should link that up nicely okay so let me put in a depot okay a tram depot please um, I'm gonna gonna pop it around uh, maybe on this side actually we have, we're not seeing any passenger transport on this on this lines on this line yet nothing whatsoever so we need to very quickly sort out our our lines one two our local passenger distribution okay one two okay so let me add some stuff this is this is way too close guys ah oh, that one is not actually the one this is the one ha 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 that's one that's actually just dropping off freight and there and there and there and there perfect so this will be local passenger distribution the red one and then this one to the other direction there, that side that side that side there you go around here there we go over there and straight back in there and this will be local passenger distribution red two and we'll close these off we'll buy a few trams t1s one two three four five six and set them to red one one two three four five six and set them to red two there we go so that's that one now docking let's make our move this direction got that one in there oh we've seen some growth over here some natural city growth so let's uh, pop in a few stations so from here let's uh, start by putting something out over here uh, then what I'm thinking of I should probably do something like that and extend this one in there I think that's pretty cool uh, and maybe don't miss this is just such crappy crappy guys crappy like that let's just do that uh, so we get a little bit more of a loop going so we'll run it through here so let me get the stations or the stops uh, in the center stop center of docking stop over here and I'll put a stop out here somewhere put something around the corner in the middle of this stretch over here we will run it across the road over here we will add some over there and that'll be the finish off over at the end there okay perfect so let's uh, do the upgrades get that upgrade up and nice uh, like that like that okay up here all the way through there down there around there and finish that off that is perfect let me get the the depot I'm gonna pop the depot in shall I pop the depot in here no it's too close to all that crap so let me just do this pop the depot in here that looks good so get the lines up and running we're making a lot of money at the moment I am liking it so let's uh, start with this over here over there over there over there through there around there and finish off there church road on every one okay so what was this uh, this is door talking right talking so this is local passenger distribution DOR one Ooh, I didn't want that take that off there we go and the other one will be Ooh, I still need to do the other one this direction that way that way around there through there around there at the end of over there and this one will ooh, what are we doing this will be local passenger distribution DOR 2 we have built our trams depot over here so let's do one two three four five set docking one one two three four five 
set docking to there we go and now we just have the one left Waltham Abbey and we're starting to see some passengers but yeah pretty poor of us not to have all of that in there and ready uh, what I want to do is fix this line up there let's do that and we'll act with this road together over there and we can do a bit of a loop a loop through here so that should be pretty basic to be honest so let's uh, grab some stuff so I'll do station over there uh, let's do something around this point over here definitely do station over here let's do a station over there mm. now the question is shall we run it yeah let's do this let's run it this way we will run it uh, just on the opposite side over here and they'll pretty much catch everything we need to catch uh, where will we pop in the, the depot so let's get the tram depot in here somewhere um, not what I wanted to do tram depot turn it a little pop it somewhere like that I like that as a good spot over there so let's quickly do the upgrades electric uh, yes, we're just going to loop around. Pop it in there, through there, and end it off. Like this and like that. Perfect. How do you like that? It's look, starting to look pretty good. Let's pop in the lines quickly and finish this off. And hopefully we'll see this become a very, very lucrative passenger rail line. Let's add that in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this will be <coughs> Waltham Abbey, right? Local passenger distribution, Waltham Abbey one. This one does the other way. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and this one is local passenger distribution. Waltham Abbey 2. There we go. Let's buy a few T1s and finish off our local passenger distribution sections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, set, um, where? Waltham Abbey 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and set Waltham Abbey 2. There we go. So now we have proper local passenger distribution at all of these stations. I am hoping we will slowly start to see some passenger traffic accruing. Don't have a lot of demand, maybe eight waiting at the moment. What I am more keen on is to see this start spiking. That's pretty good over there. If we go to Radstock, it was like, yeah, that's different. I think it's moving up. I can't remember that this was all it was. So let's uh, keep an eye on that. Dorking. I'm hoping Dorking is also shooting. Uh, Dorking is still low. Dorking still needs to grow. So we'll see. Um, so we'll give it a little bit of time. Um, if I have a look at this, it is showing that the population is growing. So that's good. That at least is good. But this line as it stands should be f costing me a fair bit of money. Yeah. Around 8 million is what it's costing me because it doesn't have the proper distribution. What I'm also interested in is how much the stone and the crude lines are generating. So if we look at the stone line, the crude line is going at around 4 million, which I think should have been a bit higher. Maybe it's just the kind of financial standing of the year. I'll have a look at it now. And then the stone line is oh, around 2 million. So it's, it's better. It's better. Much, much better. But it's not um, still not quite where I want it to be. But this needs to be improving uh, demand before that will really grow. So is that a full load? It's not. It's a pretty pitiful load, to be honest. So what's going on, guys? What is going on? So this is dropped down. Has to have dropped down. Uh, is the demand for Exmouth being filled? No, almost. Not quite everything yet. Is what's happening over here? New Milton. 
that demand is mediocrely filled so nothing major we've got is that a full train going that way yeah hoping we'll get a full train to go back uh, we've got plenty of crude waiting over here uh, this is using all of its demand what is it not yeah yeah it's using all of its demand this is getting a fair chunk of its demand uh, oops that's not what I want to click it on this one is getting a fair chunk of its demand so it should still be sending a fair bit this direction dropping off crude yeah where's this train so this train is not going to be full by no stretch of the imagination so it's really starting to run into a bit of trouble okay let me quickly pop over and see how yeah this this is dropping dropping bad Drip, dropping bad how's this doing oh we're seeing pretty decent passenger demands over here so this line should now start seeing pretty decent so the PT has lost line should see pretty decent um, numbers yeah PT has losses almost up to 2 million and it's only two trains and it's pretty expensive trains to run by the way hmm okay so yeah this this one we need this one to to start spiking and it will oh, it's already got a hundred passengers on there so it will spike it will start spiking the one that I want to upgrade is this one this is making a lot of money I want bigger try bigger better trains on that one and I should also upgrade that one but we need a lot of money to do so and we're currently hemorrhaging money on our new line so hopefully that will sort us out fairly soon as these things become better so that one is the last one we started you picking up some passengers over here 13 only yeah, so that's going to be very low stuff 19 passengers on there yeah we're seeing some passengers on here 21 starting to see passengers pick up all around here in the red stock is the demand in the red stock starting to pick up 109 uh, 22 214 i don't think that was an increase in demand this one oh this one is starting to increase a little bit so hopefully these will also or at least these trains will start will be full so that's 60 full going in that direction uh it's obviously doesn't have 60 to waiting over here it's got so is that starting to increase? I'm hoping it will. How much is that? That's just half a million. Ah, we're seeing a bit of numbers on here. These trains are pretty big though. You need a lot of people to fill them up, 160. So, but we, I think this is just a little bit of a waiting game. This will very quickly start, start, uh, start wrapping, becoming much, much better. Lots of people arriving here. 37th k only 46 people on the train though yeah so this is definitely going to start picking up oh there's one coming in from the other side let's keep an eye on it 111 picking up a few very few get the demand at South Kirkby Are we seeing tons of people coming? Not tons, a few. 21. Very limited numbers of people coming around here. Waiting for the train. Are you dropping off a few people? Yeah, one or two. That's a few people on there. Oh, it's a nice blue train. I like it. I'm at 100k on there. 16 people. No, oh, so 17 people waiting to go to the other side. 46 on here. I 
186. There's about a 90 going. Yeah, this is slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. Oh, I've got a few people waiting at the end over here. 29. Lots of people coming in, though. That's pretty empty. Yeah, there's a few people. Yeah, this way is pretty good, quick. It's that direction uphill that's a little bit of a problem. There's a ton of people over there. Well, a ton, four, five. We just need all of these people to pop in here. 39. Uh, so you won't actually see much more than that. Maybe 40, 41. 168 uh, K on there, 43, 43, 44 people. That's fine. It's slowly creeping up. If I go back to the numbers, we should see, we should see that drop. Yeah. So it's no longer eight million. It's now like five and a half million that we're losing. That's no longer just a hundred people on the line. It's 133. So it's slowly coming up. Um, slowly, slowly coming up. That's good. Uh, I, I'm not worried about that. It's uh, it's a little bit tedious in the sense that we should be making money while we're not, while the line becomes popular. But I think that's pretty good. Uh, I really want to upgrade our main demand line, the Thirsk kind of line. Um, see, we need about 30 million, I think, to upgrade to the to some some better trains. Are we running catenaries on here? We are indeed running catenaries all the way. Uh, the station, catenaries? No. So shall we see... I'm worried about upgrading the station though, because if we add... To ta I think we will lose all of these people if we upgrade the station. That train should be full, right? good it's good I need to upgrade this station to add catenaries to it so if we do nine buildings removed to get catenaries at 2.6 million how is that possible that is insane I'm not increasing the footprint of this at all I don't like it. I do not like it. Well, if that's the case, maybe this line does not get an electrical train. <laughs> okay, fine. So let's see about upgrading this line or replacing the vehicles on this line. So replacement vehicles. Um, yeah, I think that's what we want. What we're looking at, right? So that's 37 million at the moment to get that done. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and loan the money. Borrow, 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 borrow. 37 million. There we go. And replace now. And yes. So now they're running Flying Scotsman. Uh, we borrowed a lot of money, but I think we will sort ourselves out pretty quickly on there. We've got tons of demand on these lines. And I think we will be able to easily fill these new quicker trains up very quickly we've got four trains on this line right that's a flying oh, it's still not so where is our first flying scotsman on this line on the end over here yep there it is and it's not full which is strange <laughs> because there's a ton more people and this line doesn't go anywhere else but anyway we'll I, we should see some good profits from it straight away Okay, getting out here to Thirsk. Was it three or four on this line? I think only. F I think four. Yeah, f four, four of them. There we go. All of them have been replaced. 
so we should see good decent full trains with getting lots of money absolutely let's have a look over here these towns are growing very nicely if we can deliver some goods to them it will be very profitable the demands for goods here must be very high over here okay let's have a look here 200k is it going to fill up yes it is it is filling up oh yeah we need to replace some road vehicles at some point which we need to do what is happening over here are you filling up hoping ah oh, pretty much and are we having a train yes rolling in here with 94 people only but on the way back it should be chockers should be absolutely chockers that that must be a horrible house to live in <laughs> okay let's see that's it full 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 got lots of full trains over here so I'm thinking we will see why is oh no it doesn't, it's not actually going through the station okay so that's good the next one I'll be upgrading is the other one the final line so we'll get the bold what bold not bold wins the the Bardens. The Bardens off of the last one. Yeah, they're all pretty full. And the trains are much quicker now. So they've gone from 90 kilometers an hour to 120. Well, average speed. I'm not sure the line is actually allowing them to go much quicker than that. Well, maybe we should start f thinking about fixing the line a little. Seeing where our tight areas are. Okay, let's see these pop in. 260. It's not the millions that I was expecting, but I think in the long run it will be doing, doing much, much better. From a pure capacity point of view, I think this is going to be sufficient. 580. And that one's pulling into Darlington at the end of the line on the other side. How much of that? Yeah, almost 600 over there, and it should fill up as well. I'm hoping it will. Full trains. That's what I'm after. Full trains. Yeah, full trains. Okay. So, all in all, we should see tons of money come in because of the full trains we borrowed about 10 million I think so we'll just keep an eye on that how much did we borrow 11 and a half million so we'll sort that out um, as soon as we start seeing some money from this uh, also the this other line should start uh, the Waltham Abbey kind of line should start producing a fair bit yeah look at that people are 42 people waiting 24 on there people going slowly getting there let me have a quick look at the at that line uh, it's probably still this one yeah it's, uh, it's it's losing much much less now uh, the passenger numbers are increasing so all in all it is doing well it's almost the end of the year I would like to actually have a look at what we are doing in terms of making money it's about four million with spending of course so vehicles um, so we did 37 million in vehicles and that's why we lost 20 million over here so opera from an operating perspective we should actually be making much better though the construction costs are fairly minor 
the vehicle costs are so damn high even for trams we had such big vehicle costs so we're making around 10 million a year is what I'm guessing if I look at this and I'm hoping that'll just grow even better and better what was our loan interest yeah that's a very tiny amount having paying back the loan interest is definitely not the the big deal um, yeah so our 37 million on new road vehicles or I mean new rail vehicles is is what is really costing us our running cost is extremely high now getting very high 36 million last year um, and then our income is at like 52 50 well that's a big jump that's like 7 million jump from the year before so we're already seeing big jumps in our income as well so I think this definitely gonna we're definitely gonna start seeing some good good numbers. I just would like to see that going positive with a few million, and then we'll we'll be smiling. So yes, that line is already the the first Catfield certain Chester line is already kind of picking up nicely. The crude line is also picking up nicely again. Oh, not quite. It's been better. Ah. Oh, but it is producing much more so let's have a quick look dropping off all of that and I'm just want to see are we filling it up on the way back 90 so not quite filling it up but it's getting very close so that line should become quite profitable now going forward what's the stone line like just around 2 million because that is not picking up nicely but that is doing quite well uh, you can't uh, you can't do the one train and the other train it just doesn't seem to work unless we now add another just another stone train to run it that might actually work that might actually work to um to get a more get more going the other thing that i'm also kind of interested in is if we actually do we do we tie this one in here? Do we tie it in there? Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's a different one, different stuff. Do we tie this one in here and go and dump some... Uh, go and dump some... Where is our... Uh, it's all the way on the other side though. Mm, okay, so let me see about putting a truck stop on this side as well, just because while we still have while we still have a bit of room over here, maybe I'll just do that. So we've got something to go off if we want to dump freight in here. So I think that is another quick project we can squeeze in. Um alternatively we no, yeah, because if we go back this way, we can actually pick up stone from it. Hmm. That is the question. That is the question. Million dollar question. Um, should we branch it off in there? Get the freight line in there and then run run that last section over there with the freight to dump dump the construction materials in Waltham Abbey that way then we run back empty or do we do half and half and we do it this way around I think we do half and half so the train doesn't doesn't run empty back I think that's what we'll do that's what we'll do so let's uh, quickly tie this one in uh, I actually need to uh, let's let's just switch over to the to the more rapid transit what are you doing something like that should be fine and like so perfect now where is that there uh, not quite what I had in mind and out of there perfect and up here and 
band around there. So that, uh, ooh, and now what I'll need to do is now I'll have to link it up like that. Okay, good stuff. So now we can get construction materials to go here and there. Uh, just before we do that though, we need a Waltham distribution. Uh, okay, so that's there and I'm just going to drop it over there for me please. And that's a Waltham Abbey. Okay, so that's a, what do we call it? Local freight distribution, right? Local freight distribution. LFD Waltham Abbey 1. There we go. Uh, we obviously need a bit of a road depot over here. So let's uh, add a road depot to the mix of things we've got going on over here. And what I want to do is I want to buy like Studebaker is construction, this construction material. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And put it on the local freight distribution Waltham Abbey 1. So there you go, that's running. So now let me, wow, look, I'm making tons of money again. Um, so let me go to this line. Okay, and so after, uh, actually before lower docking, I want you to go to uh, Waltham Abbey. And then come to lower docking and go to Radstock right perfect so you go straight through there drop it off and come back and I think that is perfect so we might yes you can dump uh, freight in there so that's what we'll be doing and what I'm wondering is just uh, just just pause it for a second I don't want them or oh, just run it through there I don't want the freight to be going exactly on the same one so let's uh, see about duplicating this uh, this junction here oh 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 that's what I want there we go no no is it saving? it's saving ok so now the freight can go in there and yes there is a bit of a a bit of a mess happening but that's fine I think that is absolutely perfect Ooh, uh, what I want to do is add some signals over here of course so I want a signal there uh, I want to pop a signal a little bit out of the way over here so they don't uh, I don't think we need a signal on that side what we do however need is a signal as soon as you get through here somewhere um, maybe something like that that should be okay perfect now you've got construction materials and you're heading for lower docking okay well let's uh, let's see how it goes I'm also thinking about doubling well just adding an extra train to it you're reducing production Ooh, you're on the wrong side of the line. Are you going to go back? Okay, fine. Going to the Radstock transfer. Where is the next one? Is at the bottom there, right? Should be coming from Radstock any minute now. Where? What's you? What are you doing? No path electric. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you mean now? <laughs> and now you've got a path electric? Mm -hmm. And you're going to lower docking? Hang on. Did I not lay electric lines? Or what's going on over here? Is the station not electrified? All of this is electric. All of that's electric. So what is the issue? Oh, do we have a section here that's not electric? No, that's completely electrified. All of this is electric. Is there a section through this station that's not electric? 
all of this is electric there is nothing here that is not electric is there a section here that they can't actually drive on why am I getting this no path electric thing and why are you going in okay fine that doesn't matter that doesn't really matter why is it doing this no path electric thing okay pause what I'm gonna do is I am gonna just restart this thing so let's just do line contains too few stations yes of course now it does that okay so first station is it starts at Radstock transfer it then goes to Western Waltham ah uh, you know what that must be the issue I keep clicking that so I want to go here ah oh, perfect that's why I didn't have path electric and then lower docking and that is perfect so that's the line broken thing that I've got there okay so that should fix us now and you sir should now have a path electric and you should be on your way to Waltham Abbey with zero construction materials that's good that's fine we will get this ramped up we will get this ramped up okay that's perfect what I'm interested in now is as ooh, uh, actually we have got spent enough time in this episode so I'm gonna put a cut in here and we'll fix this and upgrade our last uh, passenger passenger rail trains um, to something quicker in the next episode so guys thanks so much for watching I'm exact chaos and this has been transport fever exactly if you've liked this episode please give me a thumbs up and if you've got any suggestions or ideas please leave them down below in the comments and as always please subscribe to the channel thank you bye bye